I, I want to know hissing, please, was a landlord in Berkeley many years ago. And, uh, okay, that's sufficient. Uh, <coughs> and uh, all everybody left one uh, Easter vacation or Thanksgiving vacation and so I decided I had, would do this acid trip I'd been planning and smoke DMT at the top of the trip and so I did and I did and I had this very long involved DMT trip in the L's and all it was just totally out of control and at the very height of this thing this woman who I rented to upstairs who I thought had gone home to Minneapolis uh, came back and arrived by cab and came pounding up the stairs with these two suitcases, let herself into the house and ran around to my bedroom door and beat on the door. And, uh, you know, you don't know me that well, but if I'm 500 miles up a jungle river smoking a joint and a stick cracks 50 feet away, the first thing I do is hide the joint. I am a very paranoid person. So being, you know, on 500 mics of acid, smoking DMT, and suddenly having this woman, and I, I literally, I, I had like some kind of a coronary, and I, I leaped off my bed, and I landed on my feet. And, you know, if you want, you may try this. Something about this enormous flash of adrenaline added into the DMT, added in uh, to this sudden incredible physical exertion, it was as though I ripped the membrane. I ripped the membrane and I, I was now standing in my room, but I had dragged the trip through with me and the room was full of elves ricocheting off the floor and ceiling and I had them, they were hanging off me like weasels. They were, and, and I, they were sort of turning me around in the room and, and, I, and, and also simultaneously uh, uh, one of these machines had been dragged through into my bedroom at the same time. It was like about the side, well, like this. And it had all kinds, it was faceted and opalescent and glassy and strange, but what was important about it was it had a kind of a faceted top on it that was clicking, going And every time it would click, it would launch a small plastic chit across the room that had an alien letter written on it. And these little plastic chips were ricocheting off the wall and, and piling up. And I was just standing appalled, appalled, looking at this situation. And then Rosemary slams on the door again. So I stagger over to the door, which was a sliding wooden door. And I just threw it open. And I looked at her and said, Giddy me, and she said, Oh, so you're doing that, all right. <laughs> and, and, and backed up, and then I just slammed the door shut, and I pushed my way across the room, and I crawled under the bed. And I closed my eyes, and I just said, I'm going to stay here till I'm dead or it's over. And I did. And I did. But it was... It was... Uh, I mean, what kind... You know, you're supposed to learn something about your psychology from an experience like that? It's ridiculous.